So said I sat today or Sunday I had a dream that my wife crashed her car. I pressed the brake again, it went flat. I tried to pump and pump, it went flat and the tire is flying. Good evening, everyone. Let me heartily welcome you to this uh, recording again of uh, our storyline. Uh, I'm going to tell you today about an accident again I had in the month of June 1998. When I was in Kano, this was in the year 1989, I bought a used Range Rover. I served that car for nine years before it crashed. This is the story of that crash I want to tell you. In June 1998, my wife and I were living at number 822, Yet Saram Street, Maitama Abuja. Number 822 Yen Salam Street, Metama Abuja is quite close to the house of the Inspector General of Police. This is something like 300 meters from the farmer's market along that same road, straight on, the farmer's market that is in Metama today. So said I sat today or Sunday, I had a dream that my wife crashed her car. I saw it in a dream. So I told her, I saw in a dream that you crashed your car. I warned her, Stanley, drive very carefully. Be careful anywhere you are going. Look well. I'm advising her what to do. Two days or so, two or three days after I warned her, one Monday or Tuesday, by 12 noon, I'm leaving the house. I was not, I had no case in court that day, so I didn't go to the office early. So I stayed around the house to do something. At 12 noon, I entered the car, started the car, reversed it, the brake held. Moved towards the gate for them to open the gate for me, the brake held. Drove towards the road and I had to wait for other vehicles for the road to clear for me. The brake held. I entered the road. I'm driving for something like 200 meters. The car is picking speed now. So as I'm approaching the junction of Yetsaram and IBB Way in Metama, I pressed the brake. It went flat. I pressed the brake again. It went flat. I tried to pump and pump, it went flat and the tire is flying. And I knew that if I went straight on into that road, I'm going to crash this car into somebody, some innocent person and kill somebody today or injure somebody today. So I have to make a quick decision. Directly opposite the farmer's market at that time was a ditch that the road contractors had left. They must have taken a laterite out of that place, but they left a ditch there. I had to take a quick decision to crash the car into the ditch, avoiding a car that was parked there. So I turned the car suddenly and crashed the Range Rover into that ditch. I was not putting on seat belt. The, those were not the days of putting. Those were not the days of putting on seat belt. I didn't put on my seat belt. So. Must have been my head that hit the windscreen and flipped. The car crashed into that ditch. One house young man rushed to the car and through the windscreen offered me his hand and he pulled me out of the car. When I came out, I didn't break a leg, I didn't break any hand, I looked at myself, no blood, nothing. 
people gathered for an accident of such a magnitude should happen in the center of the town. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I said the brake failed. So to be go straight to the hospital. Go straight from here to the hospital. Well, I went away. But two lessons I learned from that accident. Three or four days before I had that dream, I was driving that car somewhere and I had to pump the brake for the for the brake to catch. I should have known immediately that something was wrong with this car and gone straight to my mechanic to fix it. But I didn't. I neglected it. Then God showed me in the dream the car crash. I applied it to my wife immediately and warned her to be careful instead of warning myself. Didn't pray about it, didn't take it like it had anything to do with me. Bottom line, God is gracious. When the brake of that car failed, many days before I had the dream, I should have warned myself. I didn't. When I had the dream, I should have prayed seriously about it and checked the circumstances around me. I didn't. But still, God saved me from serious injury in that accident. For several hours later, I started feeling uncomfortable in my nose. And as I touched my nose, I felt some pain and um, some little blood, you know, from inside my nose. That was all. Nothing happened to me. People, anything, God is faithful God. If God warns you about something, pray about it. If God shows you anything, take it seriously. Take every precaution that you are supposed to take. It could save your life. It could save somebody else's life. It could save you serious expenditure. Thank you for tuning in today. Please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. If you have learned any lesson from this story today, send it to your friends and send us your comments. Thank you very much. God bless you.